Welcome to News Desk. It is the 14th day of July 2023. My name is Fatheya Mohamed Noor. Now, the Senate Committee on Health is today probing alleged irregularities in the procurement of long lasting insecticidal nets at the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, KEMSA. Now, KEMSA is facing the committee today is a principal secretary of sports and immediate former PS State Department of Medical Services engineer Peter Toom, the Global Fund coordinator, and representatives of the National Treasury. The probe is currently ongoing. Let's just cross over and listen in. By the way, operating with the three to four officers, but currently I have uh, 32 officers and they are different. I have economics, economists, I have finance officers, accounts, uh, ICTs, uh, I have doctors, pharmacists, procurement, Meaning what? That means each and everything which we are getting from the other end, it has to be subjected technically, also economically, and also to see whether it is in line with what we have signed with Global Fund. Haya, you have asked a very good question, Chair. Yes. We have this money, and because as a country we have this money, which we are going to fill this gap with, I know Group of Party could have, could have agreed. But because there was no, there was no... Because we don't want to take a lot of time, <clears throat> we want to be very specific to our responses. Can we clear the matter of specification on the origination of the specification? And the question I'm asking is the specifications that came from the Minister of Health. Was there a concurrence with the Global Fund team on that specification? Because, and the reason we're asking, the submissions from the Minister of Health in terms of specifications, contained actually the whole array of nets, be it in terms of shape, mm -hmm. color, the insecticide or the impregnation process, and so forth. So what we are asking as a committee, because the genesis of why we are here is actually a matter of specification that triggered a process Although, finally, it is not actually that letter that determined that the tenders be cancelled. Right, that is the Kemsa probe there by the Senate Health Committee. We'll be bringing you the latest.